Prior to migrating staff email to Exchange 2016 online, the district is going through a comprehensive email management and data consolidation project. These changes will result in better tools and training for staff to collaborate and effectively share information. Staff will be asked to consolidate and identify email they'd like to retain beyond two years. Create custom folders for specific projects or record types. Simply move messages related to specific projects into their appropriate folders as you create, receive, and respond to messages. Older examples are complaints and requests, contracts, employee issues, family, discipline correspondence, finance supporting documents, legal advice, project and planning files. Also consider creating subfolders per year. Reduce the number of email messages in your mail folders by using the conversation cleanup feature. Redundant and duplicate messages in email threads are deleted automatically. Click on an Outlook folder and right-click. Select Cleanup Folder. Easily group messages in the same conversation or thread by using the Conversations view. Navigate to the View tab and check the box for Show as Conversations. You can expand or collapse groups of related messages by clicking on the small arrow next to a group of emails. Email can be sorted in different ways to group messages and help you find email records. There are many ways to sort email, including who you received an email from, subject, when you received an email, if an email has attachments, size, and categories. Make a list of subjects such as vendors, projects, or reports that you want to keep and search for those subjects in email. Categories are helpful to identify and classify important email records. You can even rename the categories to suit your needs. For example, red could be record copy, yellow could mean follow up, green could be for personal. You can then sort by categories to find all similarly categorized emails quickly. Emails that are not records and you want to save for longer than two years can be temporarily tagged with a delay delete retention policy. Tag a folder with a delay delete retention policy if you have custom folders. A retention policy cannot be set to your inbox. Right click and select assign policy or navigate to the folder tab and select the policy button. Use the drop-down menu to select Delay Delete Folder Policy. Email messages tagged with a Delay Delete Retention Policy will not be deleted during the interim as we get ready for Exchange 2016 online. If you have accidentally deleted an email, first check your Deleted Items folder for the deleted email. Deleted items can likely be recovered within 30 days of the accidental deletion. Navigate to the Folders tab and look under Recover Deleted Items. Search for the deleted email and click Recover Selected Items. You can contact the helpline for assistance. 